A special thanks to First North Carolina, NCANT, and our grant sponsor, John Deere, for making our season possible. Johnny and I made it in the car at uh, 6.26 a.m., just a little early as if we were leaving for school and the sun is coming up. Don charged Ruby to 90% for me so I could blast the heat this morning and just in case I had to take a kid home or something this afternoon um, that I'd have plenty of charge without having to hit the Fayetteville Supercharger. Uh, Ruby is showing our ETA to be 7.22 a.m. Check-in is pretty casual. Uh, it started at 7.15, so this should be fine. Um, I told everybody to meet at 7.15. This is just the best I could do this morning. I'm sure it'll be good enough. Don't see any red on our route. It's a Saturday morning. We shouldn't really be hitting too much traffic. It's a really pretty morning to be driving. There's lots of uh, subtle color in the sky and uh, it was so cold last night but the ground is so warm that there's a lot of frost and dew and condensation and little, you know, low uh, clouds. So it's really pretty as we make our way down to Fayetteville. So we're tracking to 722 like uh, Ruby said when we were uh, heading out a few quay so that's good. There's not a whole lot of other people out here this morning with us. A few, but not a lot. Uh, you can see the exits are. Make sure that your kids are wearing their jackets and stuff because it's kind of cool though. <laughs> so there are, you know, they do have to move between um, the, the pit area and the judging rooms in this area. Storage that counts as being in base. So if they want to take stuff out of base, put it on here so that the robot's not running over it and crushing it and destroying it. That is completely fine for them to do, encouraged, in fact. <laughs> All right, I think, think I'm good. Any other questions or anything that you want to talk to me about, I will be around. I have the squid hat. I mean. <laughs> so John has uh, got a gimbal here, and he's been filming for me today, doing a great job. And we're in here for our morning practice runs now, and it's like a fire hose over here of explanation and events happening. How's it going over here, Johnny? It's going well. Good. Me and AJ are going over how we're going to do this. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Yay! Success! I love it. Oh, he's not running complete again. Well, that's all right if he runs the right program each time. You are allowed to rerun a mission. Just keep in mind that you have two minutes and 30 seconds and you've got to decide. Um, Crater happens to run really good with your robot, so I would... Now look, look, twins. You want to run Crater first because once you put those little discs out in the way, you can't get to Crater. So just trust me on that. Those things are in the way and then you can't get there from here. You should definitely run Crater first. I am walking to the car for a Lego part. And to catch my breath, I have had four bites of the Egg McMuffin I bought on the way here because there's no time. I parked Ruby over here by herself, explaining to the nice gentleman helping us park that I was just too paranoid to park in the regular row. He forgave me. I appreciate that. Oh goodness, it's just like a fire hose was turned on of things happening in there. And this is the first year I've had to manage two teams. And I'll do it again next year, and I'll do it gladly, but I think I'll look for a little more, more help, although the parents here today are fantastic. So basically, the axle's too short, and when they're pushing over here to insert it in the motor, it's pushing all the way in, and then they can't get it into the motor, and it's really hard to reset it. Fixed. Well, and Chestnut Middle School are great hosts today. I have to say that I like this location, and I would come back next year. A little bit less brutal maybe than the locations going on in Cary. And they have this unlocked just for today since it's not a school event. Not an official So you've been event. making friends? Yep. Yeah, he's got some badges, buttons. Hopefully next year we'll have some. So the twins are doing an excellent job today of practicing the robot and being ready to go run it. I'm really proud of them. So this is our first judging session of the day and um, WIMLA number two, the cool kids, they are in a robot design one and I get to breathe for 15 minutes while the judges take them into their care. So this is what we do while we wait 
for the kids in the core values, robot design, and project reviews. We'd be quiet out here on the So they're done with robot design and they're headed to core values next. I sent uh, one of them back in to help make sure they packed up everything they needed. You know, so you don't Johnny want to leave his team are down there on the left getting ready to go into the project. So and how's it uh, going, buddy? It's going well. Yeah, it is. Three, two, okay. one. <laughs> I love you, buddy. Good luck, guys. So this team is talking about how to refuel rockets that need to stay up in space for a long time, like maybe circling Mars or going back and forth between the space station and Mars or stuff like that. So it could have used a little more depth, but it's an interesting concept. It basically came down to using a technique like the Air Force uses for planes that need to stay in the sky for extended period of time. I like it. They're using a caster wheel to hit the uh, satellite into orbit. I had not seen that solution before. You see the caster wheels? My only feedback would be that you got to speed it up because you're going to run out of time to solve all your missions. Yeah, it doesn't stay it doesn't stay straight then, right? When you go, I had the same trouble. But we do have enough time to make it go slow. To make it go slow, okay. I actually, one of our, one of our robots has tracks and after starting it at 50%, I was pleasantly surprised that at 100% it still went straight. Because normally stuff with caster wheels and, and, the, and the regular wheels, it won't go straight fast. I, I had the same trouble you guys had. Your wires are out again. Oh, keep going, keep going, keep going. Yay! We have seen this mission run a few times correctly today, but it's a hard mission. Oh, slide and hit the thing. Oh, no. Everything's going as good as can be as can be expected. The boys have gotten more time to practice running the missions than normally we would have and they needed it, so that's great. I carried out some things we're done with from the morning judging and uh, we're getting ready to go do the opening parade and the robot game. So Johnny's told me he's having fun and that's really all I needed to hear and I can see several of the other boys really engaged in interacting with the other teams here and trying their best so it's certainly been worth it today and I'm, I'm really excited about how things are going so far. Like I told them, it's not about how much we score at the table and it's not about whether or not we go to state. It's about what we learn and who we are and how we uh, act while we're here today. And them having fun, that's what it's really I about. I like it. I got a Boxster parking buddy now. <laughs> Johnny, this is the part of this whole thing I don't like. We have to wait here with all these kids for like 20 minutes or better until we can have our opening parade and um, yeah it's loud and then after lunch all the kids have all this pent up energy like they need to run a mile not stand still in line. <laughs> five the judges and then get in the line and unfortunately we
you go stand in your box to climb before your uh, assigned round. So. two elementary schools in front of me here. One is uh, from a local Fuquay school over at Ballantyne. They're always really good teams. So you can see the clock up at the middle. They've got two minutes and eight seconds left. It's counting down from two minutes and 30 seconds. so don't worry you guys are doing good I like how you're working together I especially like how you're working together good teamwork Ooh, oh, yes baby I like it Johnny's robot and AJ's robot just made the crater also crater crossing is a go it's not coming back. It's all right, boys. That's all right. You got to do what you got. It's only three points. Yeah, you have a minute and 15 seconds. You're looking good, guys. Give it a chance to come back. Give it a chance. It's going to come back on its own. Give it a chance. There you go. No penalty. Just run it again. You're fine. Just run it again, guys. Start it closer to the wall. Let's try it one more time and start it closer to the wall. That's my fault. Start it one more time. Just restart it. It's okay, boys. You're doing great. I really like the teamwork. Oh, maybe. Oh, oh, oh. Push it out of there. Sorry, guys. Oh, send it one more time. Send it one more time. Send it one more time. You don't get points unless all four are out. All right. Send it again. You got to get all four of them out. It's okay. Try. You're going to try that. Go. Go now. Send it. Send it. Send it. Oh, baby. Oh. You guys did good. You were persistent. I'm so proud of you. I'm so proud of you. You did great. You did great. Give it a chance to come 
car for a part and the boxster is gone and now I've got a vet next to me. <laughs> I like it. Sweet. All right it's time for round two. We had a minor scare with a lost attachment for this team but we located it. all the way back in base. That was close there. Woo! This is all ready. So you'll have to pick it up now. No choice. You're doing great. They've already scored more points than the last round. Oh, that's not your fault though. We have a, the, the gate was not lifted properly. The gate was not lifted. We failed the mission, but the gate wasn't up where it was supposed to. No, it, it, she told him to touch it, Sam. It was never up and they missed anyway. And, um, it does not count because you didn't clear it just take it back and take your penalty move on to whatever else you can do it's all right just keep going you've done a good job it's not your fault it wasn't lifted and you didn't hit it anyway check your alignment check your program you got, plenty of got plenty of time. So be prepared to run it again. Let it come back. You got to wait or you'll get a penalty. Run it again. You got plenty of time, man. Are you running it as close to the wall as you can? You're going to have to pick it up. Well, that's one way to get them out of there. <laughs> I know. You got time to run it again. Take your time. Line it up. I think that's the one we need to go work on. I don't know why it's not working. Hands up.
help make both solar rays go in the same direction which gets more points for both teams he thinks he can pull that off so I'm good with it unfortunately the car mission model fell apart and it's kind of in the way. That's a little unfortunate for them. No, you're not allowed to touch it, buddy, but that's all right. You still got it run. It's only three points. Just set it down in base. Put it out of the way. Try to remember not to touch anything on the mat. So you're gonna pull it, right? Woohoo! You did it! Yay! Good job! Yes, it's fine. It's more points because it's, they're both in the same direction. That's awesome works and smart thinking. I'm very proud of you. So WYMLA number two helped WYMLA number one get more points. Oh! You'll have to pick it up and bring it back and take a penalty. It's okay. You can send it again if you want to. You can send it again or you can do slide. Whichever one you want to do. If you get over it correctly, I believe you'll still receive the points. Pick it up. You have no choice. Run slide. You have enough time to run slide. Stay calm under pressure and get it lined up correctly, okay? You got to get it lined up correctly. Right where uh, Mr. Will and Mr. JP were showing you. You need to send it. 
You need to send it. Watch your arm, watch your arm, your arm's in the way. Send it, send it. Oh. Oh. <laughs> don't touch it, don't touch it, don't touch it, don't touch it. You didn't have time to send it again and no reason to lose three more points. Hey, get ready. Ready? all day now. They typically do line dancing and stuff at the very end. good from over here. So I would like to start by thanking my wonderful judges that worked extremely hard all day. So that's core values, robot design, and project judges in blue. The guy with the cowboy hat did robot design. I would also like to thank the referees and, and the 
MC and the other um, high schoolers that helped very hard all day. Clap for them. That would be the guys in the yellow shirts. They always have high school kids doing the table judging. So start out at the table and go down the line high-fiving and so end up... Need to move yeah, there. They were just looking at each the other. The winner of the high five yes. practice award is Ed! Yeah. Woo! <laughs> That's how you do it. That's how you do it. That's how you do it. <laughs> That's great. That was great. Fantastic. So I don't know what kind of craziness is going on in Fayetteville on a Saturday afternoon at four o'clock, but it's basically in 10 minutes we've moved less than a mile. Wow, down to Fayetteville and back was only 92 miles. Johnny and I are home now. I consider today a big success. It seemed like all the boys had fun. Our highest robot score was 103, which was respectable. Uh, it's the best out of three runs is how that works. And, um, you know, we didn't place to go to state, and I didn't expect us to, but there were lots of milestone accomplishments, and I'm really proud of uh, how the boys conducted themselves at the event today. So, it's good.